guys, welcome back to Beat Beauty. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top product picks for keeping your makeup looking perfect all day long, no matter how hot the weather gets. So I'm so sorry it's been a couple of weeks since my last video. I've actually been away in Mexico uh, for the Memorial Weekend and I had an amazing time. And while I was there, I actually got inspired to do this video because while I was there, I was thinking, gosh, it's really difficult to keep my skin looking shine free and sort of still look radiant in the hot, humid conditions. So I've been researching and thinking about what are my top products for keeping my skin shine free. And I thought I'd bring them to you in a video today. Now, what I really recommend as a first step in any makeup regime during the summer, and it could be your only step, you might not want to use a foundation over the summer, but I really recommend using some kind of primer. And there are so many out there that are absolutely amazing. They're designed to not only care for your skin, but also make your makeup last much longer and keep any makeup out of the creases or fine lines. So I'm gonna talk you through my top three for different skin types. The first one that I absolutely love, and this is kind of from a personal perspective because I have dry skin, is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Now this one is fantastic because it's really good if you're a little bit lazy and you want something that's two in one. This is both a primer and a moisturizer. I have to say it doesn't have SPF, so if you are wearing this this summer, make sure you're using an SPF as well. But this is fantastic. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is gonna help to retain that moisture barrier throughout the day, keep your skin looking fresh. And then you've also got niacinamide in there, which is great for plumping and dealing with any fine lines and wrinkles. This one has a really beautiful texture. It's kind of a gel-like texture, very, very light, and it just melts into the skin. And while it is really hydrating, it's not greasy, and it's gonna leave your skin just looking nice and fresh, and it's gonna help for that makeup application. It's great for dry skin and normal skin, I would say. The other one that I absolutely love is the Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle Line Blur Factor. Now this one is perfect if you're worried about aging. If you have fine lines and wrinkles and you're really worried about the makeup getting into the creases of your skin, um, this one is designed to both mattify and also just to blur. It's called the blur factor for a reason. It's designed to sort of blur any fine lines and wrinkles and give you a really smooth canvas for makeup application. I love that this one is a really smooth, velvety kind of balm texture and it really helps to mattify. So it's great if you have slightly shinier skin and also if you have aging skin. This one has a little bit of a fragrance to it. It's a kind of fresh minty fragrance, so it's really nice to apply during the summer. And then the third one that I absolutely love at the moment for any kind of event or if you're just worried you're gonna be sort of stress sweating, this one is designed by Mare on Makeup. It's called the Skin Prep Pro Toner pre-makeup skin toner. And this one is designed for when you're on set or if you're making a speech and you're gonna maybe have a little bit more of a stress sweat. This one is gonna keep you shine free during those occasions. So great if you're going to an event, if you're going to a wedding, if you just really want to keep sweat free, maybe you have oilier skin, this one is gonna be amazing for you. It's a little bit more of an extreme uh, solution, um, but it's, it's great, you just apply this one, it's a liquid you just apply this one with a cotton pad leave it to dry and then apply your foundation and i'll be talking about another Meron product that is fantastic for little touch-ups during the day as well so i'm going to show you how i apply my primer i'm going to use the smashbox one just get a little on my hand and then just smooth it all over the face, simple as that. I just use my fingertips, but you could use any kind of blending sponge or a brush. And I'm just gonna avoid the eye area because I'm actually gonna use a separate primer for that area. Great, so that's my face primed. Now I'm going to show you my new favorite eye primer. Now again, you might think, is it worth investing in an eye primer? How much of a difference is that gonna make? But there are actually some amazing eye primers out there, and this one has really changed my perspective on eye primers. It's the Illuminate Eye Primer by Amazing Cosmetics, and it's literally a brand new product out by them. I think it only came out just in May. 
and it comes in three different shades. And the thing that I love about this is they've really developed this product so that it's really good for your skin. So it's got ceramides in there, vitamins. It's also got something called neodermal, which is what they call a needle, this filler. So it's really designed to help with fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes. So fantastic, love that. But also it's an illuminating eye primer. So it actually really helps to illuminate the eye area and sort of bring it alive. It sort of acts like a highlighter around the eyes. So that's fantastic. It comes in three different shades. This is the warm peach, but they also have moonlight lavender, which is a slightly sort of purple shade. And then you've got nude as well. So it's a great little product that you could apply on its own, or you can apply it underneath your eyeshadow. So with this one, super simple again, you literally use your fingertip to apply it. It's gonna get a little of the product on the back of my hand. So you can see it's a really lovely sort of peachy color. And then I'm just gonna blend that onto the eyelid. And then you can also apply it on the orbital bone and on the cheekbones if you like, because it has this lovely sort of highlighter effect. Great, so now my face is primed, my eyelids are primed, and I'm ready to apply my makeup. So I'm just gonna run you through a really quick makeup look before I show you how I'm gonna set the makeup to make it last all day long. So I'll start with my foundation. I'm using the NARS Velvet Skin Tint, just because this is great in the summer because it has a sort of matte finish, which is just gonna, again, help to alleviate any shine. So I'll just get a pea-sized amount Starting really with the center of the face, smooth it across with my fingertips. Okay, now I'm gonna just apply a light eyeshadow look on top of our eyelid primer. And I'm using the Mineral Fusion Rose Gold Palette. I'm just gonna do a little wash of the two pink shades over the whole lid. And then a little mascara, I'm just gonna curl my lashes. And I'm using my little trusty favorite, the Pericone MD No Mascara Mascara. Then I'm just gonna apply a little blush, and this is the Luminoso Baked Powder Blush by Milani. So now that my makeup look is done, it's a very simple makeup look, but I just wanted to demonstrate the before and after the makeup look steps for getting that shine-free look. Um, so I'm now gonna apply a setting spray. This is technically a toner. It's the Coconut Rose Toner Spray by Capari. And there are so many different makeup setting spray options and toning sprays out there, but I absolutely love this one because it's really beneficial for your skin. It's actually a toner full of antioxidants. It's got rose extract, lavender extract. It's got witch hazel, which is really great for purifying the skin, tightening the pores. So you can, you can use it in your regular skincare regime, but I like to spritz it on after I've applied my makeup and also just any time during the day that I want an extra little spritz, a little revival of my makeup. It's gonna keep your makeup looking really fresh. So I'll just apply it literally all over the face. And it just smells absolutely divine. I don't know about you, but for me, the smell of roses is just so refreshing during the summer months. So I'll apply this literally throughout the day, throw it in my handbag, throw it in my beach bag, 
You can also put it in the fridge if you want an extra cooling sensation. And it's also fabulous if you're gonna be traveling anywhere on the airplane this summer, um, just to refresh your skin during the flight and keep it looking hydrated. And now, finally, if you're someone that's really worried about shine and oiliness, maybe if you have a big event that you need to look completely matte and perfect all day long, you might want to consider using the Meron Touch Up Anti Shine. And this is a gel that is designed to be used either under makeup or on top of your makeup without ruining it. Um, and it's just gonna completely blitz any shine. So even if you have really oily skin, I massively recommend trying this one out. Um, I tend to just use it on top of my makeup if I'm out and about and I feel like I'm looking shiny. It's a good alternative to using a powder, which can sometimes look a little cakey in the summer, or using blotting papers. I just find them a bit annoying. I always run out of them really quickly. So this is just a great little one to have in your handbag. It comes in three shades. This is the medium, so there's light, medium, and dark. And it's just a gel formation. And you can just blot that anywhere that you feel like you're looking a little shiny. So oftentimes around the nose can look a little shiny, maybe on the forehead. And it just, you can immediately see it mattifying the skin. Just bring down the shine maybe on the chin. So just wherever you need it, you know, it's not gonna be necessary everywhere on your face. You might want a little dewiness in certain areas. You probably don't want it on the T-zone. So that's a fabulous one if you have oilier skin or if you're gonna be at an event this summer and you just wanna be completely matte all day and you don't wanna risk wearing too much powder, too much makeup and looking cakey. So there you have it. Those are my top picks for the summer for keeping your skin looking fresh, but also shine free. Um, I know it can be a real challenge, particularly if you have oily skin, but I really recommend checking out all of these products. If you want to find out a little more about them, you can check out the blog on beatbeauty.com. And if you liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.